Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Matt here today with another MG video. Uh, so today, uh, since we're going to get the car registered to drive soon, I was kind of uh, looking at the car and I'm like, you know what, it's not very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So when I'm driving this thing around, you're going to see this all open. So my plan right now is we're going to go ahead and reinstall these little, uh, I don't know what the heck you call these. They're like, it's almost like a nipple kind of thing. And we're going to put this cover on will cover that whole passenger side and leave this side open so it's still not gonna be super pretty but I think it'll actually look sleeker and more of like a roadster so if you imagine just the, the driver's seat poking out so I think it's gonna be pretty sweet so let's get to it so I don't know how many parts I've lost uh, so I have all my uh, nuts I might try some wing nuts uh, just things to hold them in uh, let's see what it's really hard to hold these little nuts in some of these uh, spaces I have to use All right, guys, so I got the top on. It's a little dirty. It's been sitting for 30 years in storage. I'm going to zip it all the way up or put it all the way on, and then we're going to uh, clean her off and see how clean it looks. guys here's project bobby b saw the cool uh river green badge hope to get a good picture outside in the sunlight tomorrow with all this but uh yeah i kind of like that you know let's see what's button her stuff her down in there Oh yeah, that's pretty neat. I like that. Kind of hides the mess. <laughs> I don't have the passenger seat in, so it looks like I got a nifty uh, travel pocket. I don't know what I put in there. I'm actually gonna have to take Charlie in here a few times, so that should be neat. But yeah, I kind of like this for sure. All right, cool deal. Yeah, we'll get some shots tomorrow driving around with it. Yeah, it's gonna look good. Alright, so it's the next day. I was able to get the car out. You can see the Nurburg uh, badge that came with the car. Um, it was in the parts. Previous owner, you spent some time in Germany teaching, so he got that. I thought that's pretty neat. Um, you know, keep with the story of the car. So we got a lot of work to go, but uh, the interior, like I said, I put that tonneau cover on. It kind of hide some of the work that needs to happen unless you still see the rest of the thing. Man, this car just, I just think it looks cool. Super excited to get it registered. Alright guys, so I'm, uh, I'm editing the video and I uh, realized that my outro got deleted. So I'm out of here real quick to record one for you guys. Um, about to go, and then I'm going to go to bed. Uh, but basically, uh, got the tonneau cover on. I realized I'm missing a lot of the, uh, probably about three of the little nipples. Uh, actually, okay, I was missing two, but I dropped one inside one of the body panels and it's gone forever. Tried fishing it out with a magnet, no, no luck. Um, so I'm just going to have to order some more. Probably not a bad thing to have it on hand anyway. Um, so that's where that sits. As far as registering the car, 
Uh, I got a quote from Haggerty. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it insured, hopefully next week. And then uh, I took the car, I got it originally, it was titled in Virginia. And I brought the car to North Carolina. And the big deal for that is, if you want to title the car here in North Carolina and register as an antique, uh, I have to have it, it says, it says it's like, I think it's greater than 25 years old. It has to be inspected by a theft uh, bureau employee or something like that for the DMV. Uh, so they gotta come, verify the VIN numbers, make sure everything lines up, matches, hunky dory. Uh, but uh, shouldn't it prevent me from getting plates from what I hear? Uh, but I don't know if that's just normal plates or uh, the antique plates, which is what I'm going for. Because I want to get the antique plates because I've been told that once you register it as an antique, you can buy a year period correct plates and put it on the car. And just uh, and that's what you can drive around with. So it's kind of what I want to do. Um, but uh, yep, hopefully it all comes together here this next week. Uh, but stay tuned, guys, and I'll uh, keep you guys uh, prized of the journey. So. Uh, Appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Until next time, take care.